got into training back, I guess, when I was 18. Went to college, studied pre-physical therapy, um, but I still hadn't quite found my passion. And I decided after graduating college I'd become a trainer, and so I got certified through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. And then just a couple years ago, I got certified as a strength coach. And last year I won the Free Skiing World Tour. I had also won it in 2009, but last year I had put in a lot of work. I had trained a lot harder for it, getting older. So it was a pretty big success in my book. It's always really hard to get exercises that mimic your activity, so it's, I try and train as much sport specifically. And one of my big things I've been doing for the last five years and been building on is my ski fitness programming, and it's been really successful. And this year I took about 120 people through ski fitness training in all different ages as well, from 65 to 14. So there's three main exercises I really like for ski-specific training. The first one's the leg blasters, uh, which involve eccentric concentric movement of the muscles through squats, lunges, jump lunges, and jump squats. The second exercise that I really like is a good strong core exercise. It's called the Russian twist. We do a lot of twisting in our skiing, and so it kind of helps strengthen all the external and internal obliques. And the third exercise is a little bit more of agility, kind of mimics that quickness of skiing edge to edge, hopping over sandbags or on the box, and it gets um, a good metabolic hit to the system and helps strengthen the cardio as well. Pushing yourself in the gym, you don't realize that you can push yourself so much, and then it transitions into my competitions will be in the start gate, and I feel a little more confident. I'm like, hey, I'm strong, I can do that. And the same thing goes for climbing and skiing in the mountains, and that's what I like to train people for. And same with you know, marathons, Ironmans, bike races, making people believe that they can do stuff they can't do. Because the body's a pretty amazing thing, and that's kind of obviously where we come in here. <laughs> I believe nutrition is very important, lots of kind of whole foods. Um, I try to really focus on eating a lot healthier and replenishing my body so it recovers. So one of the things I look for in food sources are just something that's clean, you know, so the better fuel I put in my body, the more I'm going to get out of it, the more energy I'm going to have, the more endurance, stamina um, to play in the mountains. So a lot of times when I spend long days in the Tetons, and obviously weight's an issue, so bring four packages of Sharkies. What's nice about the Sharkies is it is a simple carbohydrate, and it transitions fast into energy, and it doesn't bog you down, and you don't get that upset stomach feeling when your heart rate's at a 200. Just a little bit of training can go a long way, and being able to actually take a non-stop run without having to rest your legs, or you know, being able to last all day with your kids, your family, or you know, your friends out here that ski all the time. And that's the big thing about the programming is everybody is usually, you know, after six weeks of just two days a week, that's the ski fitness. People are, you know, ski ready day one and they can do top to bottom laps and that's kind of my goal. Yeah.